Regio Adace annuncia la necessità di un numero maggiore di membri di personale. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Let's look back into episode three. Let me know if you enjoyed that. Let me know. Hit the like button. Oh, man. Oh, man. If, yeah. Let me just walk you through. I just thought it's hilarious. So we had a bunch of gaps. I, I, I tend to, when I come into a club, regardless of the financial situation, if the board says, hey, you, you can assign additional staff members, I'm going to do it. Um, I think that makes the most sense. So... It wasn't like I went in this order necessarily, um, but I, I, I definitely wanted to hire, anytime there's a hierarchy, like the uh, head physio versus physio, head of sports science, sports sciences, chief data analyst, data, data analyst. I want to sign the, the, the best one first. So hopefully that person's got the best attributes and then you can sign the lesser one as the, you know, the, not the head of the department. So we definitely wanted to sign the head of sports science first. Um, and we've gotten Gaetano Tagliferi, um, who doesn't have a background or a history or anything like that, but has a 14 for sports science and is fairly professional. So one and a quarter star reputation. Welcome in, sir. 25 years old and is the head of sports science. Enjoy. Um, underneath him would be Marco Ferro, who uh, also doesn't have a history, has a 12 and is fairly professional. So we got a fairly professional sports science department. Hopefully that'll help out. And he's older, which is oh, a little awkward there. Um, we, when I was looking at our staff here, we, again, we've got a fitness coach. We had a goalkeeping coach. We were kind of, or actually we have two goalkeeping coaches, which I don't know about that. I mean, maybe it's to bolster the two goalkeepers we have left that aren't injured. Maybe that's the thinking, but we didn't have like a general coach, which I thought was quite odd. Um, and so we've hired Giovanni Losetto. Who's definitely more, again, uh, I've got him doing, I think, the, the defensive tactical and technical, even though the technical is not as good. But he's definitely got the defensive uh, options there. Fairly professional. So I like to have a professional, determined, or model citizen as my personalities, if at all possible. I avoid, like, the mercenaries and whatever. A little bit, a little bit older. 56, but, you know, kicking on, doing all right. Has an interesting uh, career trajectory. Was a player for a long time, like 16 years, something like that, at least in the game. And then went, uh, transitioned uh, tw th a, a good d bit of time later to being a coach for Body, um, who are in City of Chi. Um, but we've, we've, we've stolen him. We stole him. He uh, apparently wrapped up and was available. So he's got a Continental A. So hopefully that's not going to cost us a lot of money in terms of licenses uh, for additional, um, you know, sometimes you get a coach that has like a whatever, a National C. It's like, oh, I'm going to pay a lot of money to get you up to where you've got a Continental something or another. Um, we have signed... Eduardo Valente. Now, Eduardo, if you guys have been around the channel for a long time or in the Discord, would know that Eduardo has been a critical player in terms of when we've done experiments. Um, he's done Excel spreadsheets. He's not the only one, but he, he has done Excel spreadsheets uh, to help track some of those things. He's actually done some data analysis work for me on the channel, um, which has been super useful. He was a longtime patron. Even though he's not a patron right now, I'm going to make an exception because it's my channel for Eduardo to come in. Um, and I haven't, to be clear, I've not created any, anytime we're using a patron uh, or somebody from the community in the save, I'm not creating, I'm not, I don't have the editor loaded or anything like that. I'm not creating a data analyst. I'm just signing the best data analyst here and just renamed him to Eduardo. You'll notice here, he's balanced, which you don't love. I'd love him to be a slightly more professional. Um, but 11, 13, and 12. Just just keep those double-digit numbers in mind. And our chief that we didn't sign, that was already at the club and has been at the club, is an 8, 4, and an 8. So, Eduardo, in about a year, you're going to be our chief data analyst. Sorry, uh, Damiano Bartani. Um it just is what it is, my friends. It, I, he, he's quite the find in comparison to our, our chief. So, you know, he's the one doing the actual work, right? Like, that's that's how I look at it. Um, 
We signed an under-18 sports scientist, uh, David Michales Michalasi, um, with a 12. Doesn't have a background. Fairly loyal. It was just kind of like the best of the above ones. At the under-18 level for something like sports scientists, I'm not too fussed as long as they've got a good a good medical or sports science um, rating. Um, Corrado Pizzarotti is 74 years old, my friends. This is what I'm talking about in the introduction. I was like, I have to sign him. Not not only because he's 74, 17 physiotherapy. He like if he sticks around, he might be our head physio next year, right? Like for the senior team. Unbelievable. Has been a physio for Modena. Ooh, rivalry. He's got he's got the dirt on the club from six years ago. Um for 13 years and the two years with Letignone which is in uh, the league below us. And now he's back with us. He want, he applied. So like how I go about signing staff, I don't know if this is how you do it, is I sign staff that apply. Like I, the assistant manager says, I recommend you hire these coaches. I don't really love doing that. Um, I like to be like, hey, if we put out a job posting and you apply to it and you will click the best option, come on in. Um, I just hope that he's 74 years old. That's just amazing. Um, Gregory Bros is how we're going to put the Italian on it, is a longtime supporter on the channel through Patreon. He's in a lot of the experiments. Thank you, um, Mr. Gregory. Um, again, didn't create him. He's 60 years old here. Um, has It was a, a Juventus under-18 coach for, apparently, since he was born to 2008, um, which, okay, you can see that down here. You can't see the clubs. Then was with FC University uh Croyova, so he went to, okay, yeah, Romania. As a goalkeeping coach, we had a player that did that. That's interesting. Um, there was a goalkeeping coach with Astra, which is now Astra Girgi, which is also in Romania, um, for a, a half a season, apparently, 2010-2010. Then went Cuneo um, as an assistant manager. And then took six years away from football and is back with us in the under-18s. Looks to be quite the good goalkeeper coach. Continental A, two-star reputation, has a good reputation, two-year deal. Loving it. Loving it. So we're bolstering here the uh, the youth setup here. And then last but not least, an under-20 sports scientist, Ant Anton Guilio Basio, uh, with a 12. Again, I just, are you relatively inexpensive and do you have double digits? It's kind of what it comes down to for me on that. Um, and that's what we've got going on there. In terms of other transfers, we also have um, this guy who is super determined um, and an average attacking and defending coach. But I, I kept this posting up for an under-20 coach out for quite some time and did not find a whole lot. And so I wanted to get somebody in. I like that he's got the determination. Maybe, maybe he can influence the squad that way from having the determination. Doesn't really like to work with youngsters, but you know, it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um, we've offered a trial to this right back because again, free scouting. Um, we tried to trial a Swedish player and they said, no, he looks, he looks like he could be good just based off the limited information we have, but and he's six foot four. If we could expand our scouting scope, I, or, 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 you know what, you know what, we're going to add him to the short list. His contract's up here in a little bit. So maybe, maybe they won't resign him. They probably will. 375 weeks seems, it seems a deal. Um, we've offered a contract to Mattia Abate, or I should say my head of youth development has offered a contract to Mattia. And then I have offered a loan. No. Yes. Yes. A loan contract, um, to Entella, which is in Syria Bay. Um, for C C uh, Simone, Simeone, Icardi, is it Simone? I don't know, Icardi. Um, 2.1K a week, which is apparently 9K when you, when it shows on the transfer center screen. Again, providing that depth. If we can bring him in, if they'll accept that, or if he'll, he'll accept that, then we'll, uh, we'll probably make some changes in terms of the squad here, even though that doesn't really solve our problem here, but some of these youth prospects will go down. Um, but he looked he looked pretty good, 22. I'm hoping we can kind of snag him, right? Like, if they're wanting to loan him out, he's a fringe player, we can play him a little bit and then snag him and have him join our team. Um, so that's that's the only other changes we get going on from a transfer standpoint. With that, here's just a quick look at the transfer budget. Um, I did adjust it down a little bit to um, get our scouting budget up to the level where it needed to be to 
Um, I'll show you that here in a second. Essentially, this was like 200 grand. I dropped whatever it was, 18, 20 grand out of it to go to the scouting budget. Wage budget, we are still 14 grand underneath. Again, very important for the club that we do that from a vision standpoint. So we're trying to keep them happy, keep us afloat so we don't have to go crazy and get a new owner or anything like that. Here's the projection. I thought I'd show that to you. <laughs> we got to make a run, my friends. <laughs> Into the season, 716K in the hole. Seems... That's quite the drop, right? Like we're currently, right? Like we got 1.2 in the bank. That's that's a 2 million in the wrong direction, my friends. And we're under the wage budget. So cup run, cup run, cup run. Yes, let's do the cup run. Um, scouting, I do have them looking for any other, do we have anybody else from a central defender standpoint, age 15 to 28, because they don't want us to sign older players, three star above, anybody? anybody um but from the uh where was, where was it be um we're doing the league above us the league below us and our league for senior team players and then we can only really afford to do our league for the youth youth players um if we don't spend all our transfer budget we could bump, bump this up to to try and find some additional players elsewhere um but that's that's where we're at from right now dynamics wise team hates me still still Dressing room atmosphere is all right. Team co, or maybe it's just the cohesion. Maybe it's just the cohesion. Maybe that's because of all these trialists that we've not done anything with yet. So we'll see how that how that kind of shakes out. I'm a little nervous about that. All right, my friends, we're starting our cup run today against Juventus's under 23s. They're favored four to five odds. They get a little a little shade of pink there. My daughter would like that. Um, I kind of like our kit, to be honest with you. I, if anybody has the capabilities of making custom kits that don't infringe on copyrights or licenses, I'd love to see a different option rather than just slapping this random ship onto the shirt type type thing. Or if you can come up with a, a logo that we could use, again, that's of your own creation. Um, that would be amazing. Because um, I am not capable of those things myself. All right, so Rossi is not Matt Sharp because he sp apparently spraining wrist ligaments means that you are are incapable of playing football. Even though we, I had I had him play through it with protective equipment, so that's a little disappointing. But we go with our best squad. This is how we line up, my friends. We're not really missing out on anybody of any substance. Uh, Cargo is suspended apparently from last season. He apparently, and then uh, Nico here, and obviously our goalkeeper. So. Um, but this is pretty much how we've lined up throughout the season, and now let's see how it goes. If we need to, we can always drop back to this, right? The exact same thing, just slightly more defensive um, with the lower defensive line and the, and the uh, lower line of engagement. We're going to see how it goes to start, though. I'd like us to, you know, actually, I should probably look. I never look at this in terms of the sorting rules. It doesn't. Are we being ambitious? Goal difference, goal scored, away goal scored. So it's really just outscore them because it's just the two teams. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if they beat us by one and we beat them by three, that's goal differential. Oh, boy. So I'm sure some of these names on Juventus under 20. I, I don't uh, – uh, Serie A is um, – or Serie A – is on ESPN Plus here in the States, and I don't pay for that. I don't really have time to watch a ton of extra leagues. Um, so I'm not as familiar with some of these players. We will take a look here because there was the thing. Um, go out there and impress me. Come on. All right. Uh, Spano, our soon-to-be-not captain, is... Okay, now I've ruined it. I've ruined it, my friends. No one no one likes us. No one likes us. Um, let's go look at the opposition. Oh, I don't have the ages here because they did have some over 23 players in the squad. They're not Matt Sharp, as at least some of them aren't. So I'm just, you're saying there's a chance. We got five at the back to deal with their three. That we're probably going to have some problems scoring here because they've got, right, like three players covering our two. Um, but we, we line up with three midfielders to their three. So, you, you know, you're saying there's a chance. It's a very minimal chance, but it's a chance. First game with the new save, my friends. Cup run. Come on. We could use the money. I'm assuming there's some money. Sound. There it is. The the amazing crowd here. There's like 15 people. <laughs> oh, chip it in. Oh, win that. Oh, it falls. Oh, gosh. 
Okay, we are on key highlights. I'm going to show you both games today, even though I rambled for quite a bit there at the beginning. Early early chances, though, no possession. But again, we're more about creating chances and making sure they have long shots. Especie. Rossi. To nobody, but... Oh, he keeps it in. And then oh, he's trying to put it out for a throw in. Marchi, nice. Rossi, not Matt Sharp. Plays it over to... Oh, let the wing back get it, mate. You're a strike... A sound bug, apparently. Interesting. That was odd. Luneta! Okay. I, but th again, we're, we're trying to put balls into the box. Crosses. We're not great at crosses, but we... Oh, it's a Stefano Scapini scores! It's a, hey, put it in the mixer, lads. Put it in the mixer with 33% possession of the first 19 minutes of the game. We somehow create a half chance out of that mess, and we put one across the line. I don't want to say the back of the net. I, what do you prefer? Do you prefer sideline? I like, uh, I, I've got it on sideline for replays because I want to be able to see. I've had an issue with um, when they've shown like offside where it's like director and you can't really see who is offside. Um, now, here's a concern that we've got when our ball winning midfielder gets a yellow, we're going to have to drop him to a central midfielder on defense this early in the game if it was a little bit less early like if it was a little less early that's an odd way to say that isn't it if it was um later in the game then come on mate um i might let it ride but we kind of can't woo, afford to have we're playing against juventus as under 23s I, they're, they're still quite good they they make more than our squad i'm i'm sure um okay okay Easy, easy. Maybe we take the get stuck in off. Let's see how it plays out. We're sending a message away from home. This is what I'm talking about. Not a lot of possession, but seven. Two shots on target, but lots of fouls. It's working thus far? Question mark? Uh, I'm going to say don't get complacent. Why are you stressed, mate? I believe in you. Hmm. We're sending a message. I'm 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 gonna see how how this works for this game. We may end up playing with eight at the end of this game, and it's a disaster. Um, but at least it would give us a, an excuse. Not gonna lie, definitely thinking about that. Um, but may I haven't had this problem. I guess is is my concern. I haven't had it in the friendlies where we've picked up like tons of yellows. So I'm kind of curious as to why that's happening now. Um, hmm. That's interesting. All right. We are at the 70th minute. They picked up their first yellow. Okay, great. Congrats, lads. Um, our back line, I don't want to leave hanging out to dry. So we're going to bring in Martinelli is one of our good... I say good. He's he's left-footed and just as meh as the others. So that's going to be our first change. We'll, we'll bring off our uh, Varone here in just a second. Romano's looking exhausted, mate. Mate. Come on, lad. Come on. Because then the question becomes, do I take Romano off, even though he's playing better? We might have to do that so he's not wiped out. All right. Um. Oh, boy. I think it's Rossi is the other... Okay, right, right. Yep, yep. Uh, and then I think... Yes, you can averagely do that <laughs> swapping some players around like i said it kind of depends on who is in the game as to what specific roles we have them play um at what position my friends can we get out of here with a win i mean again it comes down to goal differential so like a one nil is good but it's it's not necessarily game changer um and we're gonna have you go play defend break up those counter attacks if we can we're going to look at the match stats after this. I want to get your thoughts. Again, I know it's the under-23s. Okay, I'm aware of that. But equal on shots, not as many long shots for them. So they were able to get past us and get closer. And could that be their quality? But no on-target shots. We had two on target. No clear-cut chances. Each team with a half chance. Only one long shot for us. No possession. 71% passing. 12% crossing. Tackles. All right. They were better. 
is it just one of those games where like it could have been a one one or a nil nil or one nil to them and like we shouldn't take too much from it I, i'm still pleased that against juventus is under 23s we were able to get something done um well done lads we sent a message now with the home leg can we come back on the home leg and actually do a job just get a draw if you just get the draw my friends we're through to the next round let's go do it also i don't think i showed the, this in either of the first two episodes this is our code of conduct um this is what they suggested i was like cool whatever you miss a training you're you're gonna it's going to cost you a lot so encourage you not to do that probably should have shown you this as well but it's it's reminded me we are seven to one odds to win the league expected to finish eighth really isn't that terrible right again you go back to the club vision they just want us to make the playoffs work within the wage budget so if we can kind of settle in get rid of you know as we go through the season start getting ready to replace some of those older players get in some stud center backs if we can work towards the future i'm not necessarily wanting to even get promoted in the first season but this this gives me hope that like our squad is decent enough now to be fair 11th is 10 to 1 odds so it's not like that far off so there's once you get past six, right, that bottom half of the playoffs, the sixth through tenth, sounds like we're all about the same, and also eleventh. So as long as we're not down here and we can get into the top ten, I'm feeling all right. Freshwater has finished his trial. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. We did bring in on loan Icardi. So he he's in the squad. Um we're working on getting his match sharpness up. He played we we did um uh, an exciting ball draw with the Turkish Super League team Anka Sarpospor uh, something like that I'm I left the friendlies in place because I'm hoping to get our backups some playing time and get their match sharpness up for the season as well as hoping that it could lead to some gate receipts and some income although maybe it's that we we make less money because we have to pay the players to appear or something like that but I'm hoping we would get more than two that'll be good we've got like 20,000 seats isn't that what we got 21,584 so that's a that's a pretty poor showing for a friendly but you could say like eh. now the away leg right or away leg the away friendly against uh one of our rivals 4100 so maybe, maybe i'm hoping they'll show up for, it says only about 1800 for this game is expected so that's also still quite disappointing and what was nice about the the friendly is we literally played all of our backup or youth players and rotated in youth players and still got the draw and didn't have to risk anybody so you're saying there's a chance it, it's weird to me i usually have the right earbud and not the left and just we just need to get a draw my friends now what i did notice because i did a little bit of digging unless i'm understanding this incorrectly it doesn't show any money you don't get any money for here you don't get any money for here 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 you get 15k for the semifinal. Let's go back to your quarterfinal. Oh, you get 5k for the quarterfinals. You gotta get all the way to the quarterfinal to get any money. Round appearance for away teams. Semifinal, 15k for away teams. And then the loser gets 30k and the winner gets 60k. So maybe the dream of a cup run is... Maybe that's why no one is coming to watch today. Maybe you're saying that could be a thing. Yeah. I just want to get us building our familiarity, understanding our tactic, really getting this down so we can start smashing some teams when we get into league play. So it went well the first time. We need one point. I agree. I agree. Come on, boys. All right. Again, now Alessandro is motivated. He's not happy. He's motivated. Lunetta is happy. I'd, I'd like to keep Lunetta forever, please. Just based off of... His capabilities. All right, we got some folks up here. No, no, n none of the expensive tickets are sold. <laughs> but the uh, the upper deck, a little less expensive. You know, we got we got some some showings here. Fifteen percent possession, my friends, at home. Oh my. Maybe they're mad. Maybe maybe they're mad. Goodness, um, we might have to go to the other tactic. That's a little, oh, he's he's unmarked, but he's offside. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's just pause. I want to look at the match stats here. Two long shots out of five. None for us. 
Iris was on target. Okay, we're in the game. It's just... See, again, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have clicked through that. That makes it a lot more difficult for me to see the offside line. That was going to show us offside. But based on the angle, or you should you can see it. For, this angle makes it hard to see the offside line that when they draw it. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, possession's coming back. They're still battering us, though. So we're going to change it to this. Just to show you, it's the same thing. Just uh, lower line, right? Everything else is pretty much the same. So... We'll see if we can sit a little bit further back and then counter, or is it just going to cede more possession to them? I'm not sure. Don't get hurt, mate. You're our only real goalkeeper. Votolini. That's awesome. That's awesome. Long ball over the top. Marchi gets past his man. Center back. Oh, that wasn't even close. That was, I mean, right foot, but. Pinsogilo. Win that. There you okay. No one's we got three midfielders. Nobody's there to win the second ball. Good times. You're gonna. There's a sound bug apparently. No penalties. No penalties. Nope. Oh, chips it. Okay, Volatino. I thought he was gonna punch that out into a dangerous area, but he comes out and collects it quite nicely. Interesting with the black and the gray and the... He didn't have a, a anything that looks like any of our colors. All right, Romano wins that. Okay, Veron plays it back to Romano. The advanced playmaker plays it out to Scapini. What a finish! Did you see that? Oh, oh, oh. Stefano Scapini puts it upper 90. Look at that, my friends. Hold on, I don't think this angle is really going to do it justice. Let's watch. Yeah, it's going to end up. Oh, you can, I'm in the way. I'm in the. It's going to end up right here. Let's see if I can. Knock it out of the way. Oh. Oh, so good. Oh, my friends were motivating the fans. They're like, I can't believe it. Of course, we pick up a yellow. So, Labuti's going to miss the next match, so we might as well keep him in. I'm just going to say I'm happy. Let's go, people. We came back into it. We're playing, it, again, I don't know if it's necessarily, we are now playing a counterattacking style and cautious, but... Okay, we won the first game by a goal. So we got this. We got a two-goal lead. We just need to not give up two goals. Oh, oh, oh that was. They did us in there. The, the quality in their team. Sound bug. Or, or maybe it was the ball getting kicked out of the back of the net. I'm just going to say... Demand more. Come on, boys. Don't get demotivated by that. Okay. Veron is mentally fragile. Cool. Cool. Things are cool. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Yep. Out to the... Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay. Not really counterattacking, but we're going a long ball. Okay. Really close pass. You get the winger. Okay. Or wing back. Luneta. Luneta. Voron. Back to Lunare. Out in space. He draws some defenders. Plays it back into space. Romano. Stop hanging out next to each other. Give each other someone to pass to. What are you doing? Okay. Luneta. Does his man in. Oh, it falls to the top of the box. Romano. Rossi. Oh. Hear the crowd. Carter was disappointed too. Like, oh. Again, if we if we end up not making it because it takes so long to make any money from the cup, I mean, I guess you could get some from if you start playing bigger teams and selling out your stadium or not selling out, but selling more tickets to your stadium. Oh, you could, you had some space to dribble there, mate. You could have done something with that. Rossi, Voron. Okay, I guess that was wise transition. It's a, a way of getting around that, that uh, midfielder. Lunetta back in space. Can you pick out a pass? He plays it back to Verone, plays it back, cuts it in on the right foot, Marge. Oh, that was lovely. Even though it didn't work. We're creating chances against this team, people. 
I like it thus far. Okay, Lubuti. Okay, plays it down the line. Okay, Rossi rescues him. I was I don't know if that was intentional, but it works out. Oh god, I thought he was gonna take a shot there. Plays it. Lunetta again. Jogs onto it. Takes his takes all the time in the world. Picks out a pass. Oh, it's, how does he miss that? Oh, it surely was a half chance. Surely. Surely. Spano's nervous. Maybe you're gonna be nervous. You being nervous makes me nervous. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um Rozio, come on in, sir. Settle us down at the back. Oh, famous last words. Ooh, it's over. It's over. It's over. We've created a clear chance and a half chance. They've not created anything. They did score, to be fair. Um, I'm going to say that. They're going to create a clear chance and score here. But I think we've done ourselves proud thus far. To be playing the, one, the you know, the older of the youth squads of one of the best teams in Italy. Okay, we're good. I wasn't nervous about that at all. They still had long shots. Half of their shots have been long shots, even with all the possession. Can we win that? <gasps> oh, mistake! Oh, mate. That was close. That was, that was close. Rossi is not playing exceptionally well. No one playing exceptionally well, I guess. Um, We'll bring in Icardi, because he can... Yes, that's one of the reasons we signed him, is he can play a box-to-box -box midfielder. And then, and then... Towards the end of the game, my friends, we are going to take off Lunetta and bring on Favelli. Because I think Lunetta had a yellow in the first game and we'd like to have him available for the second game. And I think with that, my friends, I'm happy with that performance. What are you talking about? Why would you say you're unhappy? We were underdogs in both games. We played all right. I'm not saying it was exceptional, but we held them to mostly long shots. We got the victory, and we're into the first round. What are you unhappy about? We had 1,800 people show up. You know, we got about 13, I think it was, I think this was at like 27, I could be wrong. But we, we earned some money. What is there to complain about? When is the draw? Hello? Hello? What is the draw? Stages. No, no, no. Uh, maybe it's rules now. St August 26th. Uh, yeah. No. I'm not going to be able to show that to you because I've, I've got a... That'll be, that'll be after we play Piancenza. All right, my friends. Off to, I think, a good start. We get a win and a draw. We played all right. We're making a tiny bit of a cup run. Why don't you think about that? Again, hit that like button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Come on, lads!